Yo, what's up? Welcome to the video. Now this is a little bit late, but I wanted to compile all my thoughts I had and everything. And I wanted to talk about the Packers draft and give a full recap of it. Because I came in there with expectations, as a lot of Packers did. Like uh, thinking that we should pick up Kool-Aid McKinnistry. And thinking we should pick up Cooper DeJohn. D D D Jean or whatever the fuck his name. But uh, that obviously didn't happen. And I was bummed the first day. I was like, who? Jordan Morgan? What What the fuck? And then I realized it's Jordan Morgan. Go, 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 go. Hey, so good, she on She ride a dick like a carnival. I done did the impossible. She ride a dick like a carnival. Been over having flashbacks. She gonna eat me up like a carnival. It's the way I pop my shit. The whole time ready. I'm going barnacles. We're gonna feel like a taste. Now, Jordan Morgan is is elite and as you just saw in that edit he is a great pull he, he is great at pull blocks he's like he did i saw like a stat i don't i'm pretty sure this is real he's never dropped a run block like he you if if it's a run and this nigga meets you you're not getting past him he never like do you know how hard that is to never want to do that that's fucking insane and i was looking at this Oh, yo, I'm sorry, it's late at night. I was like, what the fuck? How do you just, how do you, how do you just do that, right? How do you just never have that happen? Not even once in your career? It's like that Sauce Gardner stat where Sauce Gardner, like, he never had a pick on him, like, in all of college. His first pick was in the NFL. Like, that's, that's, and that, 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 there's no one else think that's crazy. I believe that's absolutely insane. So while I was sitting there like, Kool-Aid, Cooper, oh, we should get them. This guy was elite. And let's be honest, O-line niggas go, go quicker. O-line usually goes quicker. So I'm very happy that we had this. And I'm very, I'm very happy we got Jordan Morgan. It was more my bias towards the players, Kool-Aid, uh, Kool-Aid specifically, actually. I really want Kool-Aid more than I want Cooper. And which led me to want them that bad, right? Pause. But I really wanted them specifically. And it was a lot of bias. And I wasn't thinking about the team, really. Especially our new defensive coordinator. He's He does a lot of zone. And even though, like, Cooper is the best man and press, in my opinion, is the best man and press coverage corner in the entire draft, his zone is so off. Something's wrong with his zone coverage. And that just wouldn't work for us. You know what I mean? So it's not like I'm complaining about. It's not like I'm trying to cope that he's gone, right? It's it's more so I'm happy to have it. And you'd think that, like, I'd be like, oh, damn it, we lost the first round. We didn't get them. The, both Cooper and him fell to, fell to the second round where we could have got him again. Cooper went the pick before us to the Eagles, and it's our pick. And I'm like, boom, we just got Kool-Aid. What? We just got Kool-Aid. And then we trade the pick to the Saints. The Saints, of course, want Kool-Aid. So the Saints take him. They're going to make him a Marshawn Lattimore. I'm not mad. And I'm like, why would we trade back? What could we possibly know that we would trade off of a corner slash safety, which we would we need? We need one. We need a safety, and we need a corner. Like We need, no, or we need a safety or a corner. We need help in our secondary. That's what I mean. They were thinking more on a wider scale, and they got linebacker Edrin Cooper in the second round. Now, Edrin Cooper, in my opinion, might be the best linebacker in the entire class. Edrin Cooper could literally, he is a tackle machine. You see those downfield blocks he does? You saw the one at the beginning. The, I, I, if I didn't show you it in the edit, I'm going to show you it right now. Hey, man. Like, this dude is great at football. He is great at football. I don't think you heard me. He is great at football, bro. And 
he's like just an insane linebacker, which we did need help. Quay Walker, Isaiah McDuffie injury, and you know, then I he's gonna be great there. He's going to be insane. Edwin Cooper is my favorite linebacker out of the whole draft. And ironically, he ended up to the Packers. So I'm it's not that I'm mad uh us like, but I'm happy we got him specifically. He's very good. And a fucking steal in the draft in Javon Bullard. Javon Bullard patrolling the deep middle of the field. Von Bullard, insanely good safety. That's a he's a zone hawk. Bro can just bro likes to pick it off. But don't think he's afraid of contact. I see him fucking bull rush dudes. Like, he's not afraid of contact, bro. Like, Patrick Sertan, you know, like, like them, bro. Like, I, he's not like those other dudes in the, back there in the secondary. He knows what he's doing. He, he really got it. And something I really like about Javon Bullard is also he already fucked with the Packers. He already fucked with the Packers. What do you mean? Well, he he made a video right or no he didn't make a video it was a video in which he stopped he like fully locked this nigga up and he goes oh he does jair celebration he was meant to be a packer bro he was meant to be a packer you know what's the best part his celebrate like when he found out he was a packer he said i'm gonna be a fucking packer or he said i'm gonna be a packer Like he he looked insane. He was insanely happy about it. She should be. If you're a Green Bay Packer this next few years, if you're a Packers fan, you should be ecstatic, bro. Should be ecstatic. We lost to the Niners in in we lost to the Niners in the divisional because we missed a kick because of a bad kicker. That's true. That is what it is. We almost beat the Niners. The Niners always take us out in the playoffs. That's just something that's gonna continue. But, you know, who's 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 wrong to be happy, right? Who's who's wrong to be happy that uh, it didn't happen? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I to be mad about that, right? Like I feel like we still did our damnedest, right? And then let's push on. I hope I'm trying to see right now. Did I forget anyone? In yeah, they were both wrong too. And yeah, yes, yes, this is who I was forgetting. No, uh, this is no, no, no. I wasn't forgetting anyone at all. We went to round three, where you pick up Marshawn Lloyd, very a uh, useful, a useful running back, which I think we we're gonna get him in for some good reps. He's actually very good, not the best off the board, not the second best off the board, but like his his floor is high, like his ceiling, his ceiling's up there. He could he could do something, and also he fits perfect with our scheme. He can be muscled up. He can, he can he can get some blocks out there too, but. Like he can also he can also just no shit and we already got Josh Jacobs, that's a great person to learn behind. Insanely, like if I had to pick someone to learn behind, that's what I'm doing. And we trade up a little bit later, and we get Tyron Hopper, another linebacker. Our linebackers are going to be sorted. We got a little. We can have a little switcheroo. We're we're ready, bro. We're ready. We're ready linebacker wise. We had to fill that hole, and we did. Our holes looking great. We got, and they're so pause. Our holes looking great. Also, they're all very young guys. Quay Walker, obviously, like a year, like about to be two. Like, uh, like, no, 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 about to be. Like, is this going on his third? Wait, last year? No, the the year before the last. So I don't fucking care. Um, he's like, we have Quay Walker there. And now it's Hyron Hopper, young guy, and then fucking uh, Edrin is also young as hell. Like, we have a great stack core there. Now. Let's go big two. Then in round four, I believe we picked up 
Yeah, Evan Williams, another safety. He's out of Oregon. Fuck Oregon. I don't like Oregon personally. But he's also good, but I didn't really get the understanding for getting another safety. Maybe we want to switch through, right, and uh, see how we're feeling about it. But I don't really know if it really matters. <laughs> but I like it. It's it's not bad at all. He's like a very good. He's very good. So we can have him like make, play sometimes off. I don't know what we specifically put him off, but he's not as good as Javon Bullard. I know that. So we'll see how much he really gets him. All right, and let me pull this back. Sorry, I got like my list here. I'm trying to like exactly. Look. Oh yeah, a steal. A steal when we got J Jacob Monk center out of Duke. Insanely good player. Insanely good center. He'll be great. I think he was projected to go round three, four. But still having him this late was that's that's uh, that's something I'm ex I'm happy about. Young guy, we're boosting this O line. We're preparing. We are preparing for Josh Jacobs. We're ready for you, bro. By the way, back to Javon Holland and like bro that's javon bullard and i said javon holland javon bullard and xavier mckinney as our safeties we're doing right bro we're doing great like i don't think we could be doing any better here for real. our pickups were like actually just beautiful then we get travis glover offensive tackle elite player too like nothing 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 bad i could even say about him it's good he's he's just he's just a moderate player a, a great pickup and another tackle, you know, something great to sort out. And I think, yeah, my favorites, one of my favorite pickups is Michael Pratt. Now, Jordan Love is young. Jordan Love's like 25. And he he's still the future of this team. Don't get me wrong. Jordan Love's great. Having another young quarterback, and especially one who was up there to be better than, fuck it, or not better than, but in debate with Bo Nix earlier, and you saw how early Bo Nix went, which is crazy. Fucking Broncos. Like, they need they need quarterbacks bad, though. Um, he's a debated with Bo Nix earlier. I'm happy to have this guy. Like, he's he's actually pretty high. I'm not mad at it at all. He's a pretty good player. And he gets to learn we, behind Jordan Love for a little bit. Maybe if... And you know what happens when we get injuries? We're going to be able to actually deal with it at quarterback. We're going to be able to actually deal with it and not have to throw in a specific person I'm not going to name. But, yeah. Yeah. And another late great pick. Oh, my God. Kalen King at 255th. There. We got us a cornerback. Everyone knew we needed one. And we got a nice one at the end. And he he was, like, really good it, in the early mocks. He was to go round one. Like, he just dropped absolutely horrifically. I don't know what it could possibly be uh, like performing bad in like meetings of uh, his personality. Like, I don't know what it could be, but he was projected to go up in round one. Like there were even my dreams having him top five, bro. And then now he fell this low. Like it is what it is, right? But I'm happy. I'm happy to have him and let's just, let's do it. This is a great draft for the Packers. I personally would rate it a B flat b like we did good we got some great players i'd say three of which insanely good insanely great for our team and the rest very adequate very adequate for our team and good no one bad at all and no picks i really when i think about i really disagree with so i i hope you guys enjoyed this video took a like yeah and i hope you guys enjoyed and packers of the bull peace